Hi you two, Miss Vaughan here and I am sharing with you today a text that we are looking at in English this half term. So the title of this book, as you can see, is The Great Kapok Tree and it was written by Lynn Cherry. And I love this book because um, right at the beginning you can see a map of the world and it identifies all of the forests that we have across the world. Two men walked into the forest. Moments before, the forest had been alive with sounds of squawking birds and howling monkeys. Now all was quiet as the creatures watched the two men and wondered why they had come. The larger man stopped and pointed to a great kapok tree. Then he left. The smaller man took the axe he carried and struck the trunk of the tree. Whack! 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 The sounds of the blows rang through the forest. The wood of the tree was very hard. The wood of the tree was very, very hard. Chop! Chop, chop. The man wiped off the sweat that ran down his face and neck. Whack, chop, whack, chop. Soon the man grew tired. He sat down to rest at the foot of the great kapok tree. Before he knew it, the heat and hum of the forest had lulled him to sleep. A boa constrictor. Can you see that big snake? A boa constrictor lived in the kapok tree. He slivered down its trunk to where the man was sleeping. He looked at the gash that the axe had made in the tree. Then the huge snake slid very close to the man and hissed in his ear. Senor, this tree is a tree of miracles. It is my home where generations of my ancestors have lived. Do not chop it down. A bee buzzed in the sleeping man's ear. Senor, my hive is in the kapok tree and I fly from tree to tree and flower to flower, collecting pollen. In this way, I pollinate the trees and the flowers throughout the rainforest. You see, all living things depend on one another. Can you see the bee? A troop of monkeys scampered down from the canopy of the kapok tree. They chatted to the sleeping man. Senor, we have seen the ways of the man. You chop down one tree, then come back for another. The roots of these great trees will wither and die and there will be nothing left to hold the earth in place. When the heavy rains come, the soil will be washed away and the forest will become a desert. A toucan, a macaw and a cock of, cock of the rock flew down from the canopy. Senor, squawked the toucan, you must not cap down this tree. We have flown over the rainforest and seen what happens once you begin to chop down trees. Many people settle on the land. They set fires to clear the underbush and soon the forest disappears. Where once there was life and beauty, only black smouldering ruins remain. That would be really sad to lose all of the beautiful colours of the rainforest. A bright and small tree frog crawled along the edge of a leaf. In a squeaky voice, he piped it in the man's ear. Senor, a ruined rainforest means ruined lives. Many ruined lives, you will leave many of us homeless if you chop down this great kapok tree. We don't want homeless frogs, do we? A jaguar had, began, had been sleeping along a branch in the middle of the tree. Because his spotted coat blended into the dappled light and shadows of the understory, 
No one had noticed him. Now he leapt down and padded silently to the sleeping man. He growled in his ear. Senor, the kapok tree is home to many birds and animals. If you cut it down, where will I find my dinner? Don't want a hungry jaguar. Four tree porcupines swung down from a branch and whispered to the man, Senor, do you know what we animals and humans need in order to live? Oxygen. And, Senor, do you know what trees produce? Oxygen. If you cut down the forests, you will destroy that which gives us life. A three-toed sloth had begun climbing down from the canopy when the man first appeared. Only now did she reach the ground, plodding ever so slowly over to the sleeping man. She spoke in her deep and lazy voice. Senor, how much is beauty worth? Can you live without it? If you destroy the beauty of the rainforest, on what would you feast your eyes? A child from the Yanmamo tribe who lived in the rainforest knelt over the sleeping man. He murmured in his ear, Senor, when you awake, please look upon us all with new eyes. The man woke with a start. Before him stood the rainforest child and all around him, staring, were the creatures who depended upon the great kapok tree. What wondrous and rare animals they were. The man looked about and saw the sun streaming through the canopy. Spots of bright light glowed like jewels amidst the dark green forest. Strange and beautiful plants seemed to dangle in the air, suspended from the great kapok tree. The man smelled the fragrant perfume of their flowers. He felt the steamy mist rising from the forest floor, but he heard no sound, for the creatures were strangely silent. The man stood and picked up his axe. He swung back his arm as though to strike the tree. Suddenly, he stopped. He turned and looked at the animals. He hesitated. Then he dropped the axe and walked out of the rainforest.